Bonnie and Clyde, Love and Death is a one to two player game where you play as the famous desperados Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow. Behind the wheel of vintage cars, stay together through stick-ups and shootouts and escape the police, who are always on your tail. Don't worry, it's not as dangerous as it sounds. Or is it? The choice is yours as Bonnie and Clyde Love and Death comes with variable difficulty levels. We all know how the story ends for Bonnie and Clyde, but that doesn't mean they can't win in their own way. To win, the love meter must be full and there must be at least two loot in the hideout. Then, the tragic lovers can stay for one last night together at the romantic farm. There are several ways to lose. If the love meter reaches zero, Bonnie and Clyde break up and the game ends. If either character dies from their wounds, the survivor is overcome with grief and the game is over. If you get into a shootout with no ammo, then you're stupid and the game ends immediately. Bonnie and Clyde, Love and Death is made up of a series of turns and lasts until a victory or defeat condition is met. Each turn represents one day and starts with a pursuit. The police advance a given number of spaces. If they catch up to Bonnie and Clyde, a shootout occurs. As the game progresses, the police call in for help and become more difficult the more notorious you become. If you survive a shootout, you have the option of finding a new vintage car by spending search points, or if you're desperate, by hijacking a Ford Model A, but crime does not come without consequences. You'll continue your morning road trip by driving down country roads or the highway, each route bringing its own benefits and challenges. You need fuel to drive, so keep an eye on that gas tank and remember to fill up whenever possible. Follow the road from bottom to top, first resolving any mandatory events, then making optional stopovers when wanted. But be careful, making stops cost you time, and the police are hot on your tail. You can stop over at small villages, towns, and cities. At each location, Bonnie and Clyde can shop for goods like weapons, ammo, food, and fuel by spending money. If they're hard up for cash, they can perform a stick-up instead. But be careful. The shop owners may or may not fight back. At some point, you'll need to get loot from the bank. Be sure you stock up on that ammo and hope for an easy stick-up. Sometimes, bad things just happen, causing casualties. Bonnie and Clyde don't like to kill. If you're reckless, their love will suffer and the police will become increasingly relentless. Not to mention, you just killed somebody. Surprise, twists, and misfortune may come your way no matter what, forcing you to draw a memory card. Memory cards are always bad, congratulations, but you can reverse their effects to make lemonade out of lemons by spending two search points. Also, watch that driving. If you get in an accident, you might just lose your car and have to spend precious points to find a new one. Continue your road trip in the afternoon by drawing another road card and resolve any stopovers. At the end of the day, Bonnie and Clyde will need to rest. You can rest at any location on your road or stopover as long as you can pay the price. If there's nothing nearby, you can spend search points to find something even better off the beaten path. So keep your resources flowing, keep your love strong, and maybe, just maybe, you'll live to face justice another day.